Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to start working with ArcGIS Online to perform uh, GIS analysis. As you may have read already, ArcGIS Online is Esri's web mapping platform that is being widely used by many organizations and individuals to do their GIS work from within a browser environment. So with ArcGIS Online, you can store your data if you wish, if you've got shape files and other data sets that you're working with on a project, you can store them within the ArcGIS on Online environment. You can use this environment to share your data in the form of maps or shape files, CSV files and so on. You can also use ArcGIS Online to build web mapping applications. And uh, one of the cool things about this is that you don't have to write codes if you don't want to. You can build very interesting, sophisticated websites, web mapping application sites, that is, without having to write any code using ArcGIS Online. And then finally, as we're going to do today here, you can perform quite a few GIS analytical operations from within the ArcGIS Online environment. Um, many of the tools that we use in ArcGIS Pro can be executed from within ArcGIS Online. Not all, but quite a few. Okay, so let's get started using some of the analytical functions um, within ArcGIS Online. In particular, we're going to focus on calculating the main center of a set of points, um, calculate standard deviation ellipse, and so on. Anyhow, to get started with ArcGIS Online, um, if you go to ArcGIS.com, this website here, you will be able to log in. You can also go to www. You can also go to ArcGISonline.com, and you'll get here. Once you get here to sign in, um, if you click on sign in there like that. You can sign in with the username and password that I um, that I sent to you. Um, I've already signed in. This is what you see when you sign in. Um, <clears throat> usually, you may you may be taken to this environment here. If you see this environment, you can always click on home on on map. Map is what will get you to the main page to do your work. This is a map of of the world centered on the USA. And um, what we're going to do is to use this as a background for overlaying our shape files. Um, to add a shape file to this background here, simply click on Add and then go to Add Layer from File. Right now, the file that you're going to add here is a shape file, and the shape file must be zipped. So um, we're not adding the .shp, .dvf and so on separately. We're just putting everything in a single folder and then adding it to ArcGIS Online in the zip format. So once you download the data from Canvas, just um, upload the same zip file here. So add layer from file, and here you must browse to the zip file that you downloaded and add it using the import function here. And um, the layer is imported Actually, there were two shape files in that folder that I zipped up, and they're here. At this stage here, you can simply click Done, and once you click Done, you will see the two layers here. So you can see one of them is the earthquake layer, and another one is for California. This is the name of the folder in which the two shape files are located. So you can uncheck this to test it out. You can uncheck that, turn them on, turn them off. If you want to change the colors, you can get inside here to change style, and then you can change the color of the layers and so on. So for now, I'm going to focus on on, um, on some analysis. What we'd like to do is to find the mean center of these earthquake points. Um, now to find the mean center, Esri has provided a set of analytical tools under analysis. If when you load your data into ArcGIS, you don't see analysis here, it means that 
you need to you're not using the um, as the Esri online Esri or GIS online account through EMU okay so you must use an ArcGIS online account through EMU to get access to this area. If you're not seeing it, send me an email and uh, I'll be able to sort it out for you. Okay, so let's find the mean center of these points here. Uh, that's very easy within ArcGIS online. Just click on analysis here. And uh, we're going to use the summarize data functions. Um, here we come down summarize center and dispersion. Actually, Um, yeah, we click on that and then we click on mean center uh, make sure we click on the earthquakes there you want to find the mean center of the earthquakes and you want to find all earthquakes that are within one standard deviation of the mean so we click on this as well ellipse one standard deviation if you want you can get a weighted mean center um, you can weigh by, um, let's say in our case here, you can weigh by the depth or magnitude. Let's go depth, let's go magnitude. And um, here you can change the name of the layer if you want. I'll just go with the default for now. And, uh, and then you click on run analysis tells me that the layer with that name already exists so I will change this name here a little bit and uh, so I'm going to change that and then I'm going to go run and that's going to take a while few more seconds and then it will give you the result so that's it so you can see here this is the mean center of these points here and this um, ellipse here this represents um, this contains all points that are within one standard deviation of, of the mean center here the mean center of the points Okay, so that's all there is to it. If you want to share this map with your with your colleagues, all you have to do at this stage here is click Save, Save As, give this um, map a name so you can see Mean Center of Earthquakes, California, and then you can. You can even use back these here as tags. You should put some tags here. It makes it easy for people to find the data. Uh, and um, for a brief description, you can put some additional words here. It's gonna. Uh, this here represents the folder in which the map is gonna be saved. And then you click Save As, Save Map. That's save. Now to share the data with uh, someone else, you click Share and um, here make sure you set to everyone and um, okay and you click everyone now this here this tiny url that you're seeing here this is what you will copy so you can right click and copy that and you can email this here to me or put this up on canvas and when i click on this link i'll be able to see it so if i click on done there that's it that's all there is to it email me that url and i'll be able to see your map Okay, thank you very much.